Hello everyone. I just want to get on here and just share a dream with you. I had this dream about a year and a half ago and for the longest time I never knew what it meant until here recently. I was in prayer one day and Holy Spirit said, hey, remember that dream. This is what it means. Share it. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to tell you the dream, give you the interpretation, and then you tell me, you pray about it and see if it's from God. But it, it really is amazing. and You'll see. Here we go. So in this dream, it's me and another guy. We are on the third sandbar in the ocean and we're fishing. All of a sudden, the water starts to go out towards the sea and I turn around to see what's going on. And when I turn around, there is a huge wave coming towards me. I throw the fishing pole, just drop it. And I just started running to the shore for my life. And I remember telling myself, I'm not going to make it. I'm going to die. And as soon as I said that, something picked me up and and then I'm gliding over the dry ground and, and it sets me on sh on the shore. When it sets me on the shore, there's this huge rock. But in this rock, there's like a mansion cut into it. There's like a house in the rock, if that makes sense. Um, I remember just running inside the building and I looked to the left and there's like a flight of stairs. I started running up the stairs for my life because I knew the water was coming. When I make it like halfway up, um, I felt the wave hit the building, hit the mansion. Um, and then I kept going. I want to say there's four flights of stairs, four levels. And as soon as I get to the top, I look down, the water got up to my ankles and I'm just like, wow, I made it. I go down the hall, open up one of the doors that looks out towards the ocean. And all I see is just water. And I just, I remember just standing there just like, whoa, what just happened? And then that was it. Like I said, this happened a year and a half ago, and the Holy Spirit just gave me the interpretation of it, and it's amazing. Here we go. So, me and the other person are symbolic for two Christians, because we're fishers of men, like Scripture says. One was taken, one wasn't, like Scripture says. What picked me up and set me on the shore, that was the Holy Spirit. The rock, that's Christ. He's the foundation, the rock on which we stand on. The building, the mansion, that's the church. Are you following me? It's amazing, the symbolism in this. The levels represents the levels of relationship we can have with God. The blood of Jesus gets you in the building. The blood of Jesus just gets you in the building. But it's up to me, it's up to you to, to climb uh, Matthew 6, 33, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added to you. That gets you to the very top. When we put God's first and forsake this world and make Jesus the number one in our life, that gets us to the top. The water represents judgment. Just like in the flood, it rained 40 days and 40 nights and God judged the earth with water. That's what the wave represents. And this is the thing, though. The first floor, the second floor, and the third floor were covered in water. It wasn't until the top floor you were protected. The water still got to my ankles, so that tells me, like, we, we might get a little bit of taste of something. But for the most part, I was fine. So that is the interpretation of it. Like I said, it is simply amazing, the symbolism and how it fits right into Scripture. But um, my only advice to you is that whatever that is distracting you, give it up. God is telling me in this that like judgment is coming and God doesn't want nobody to go through judgment, especially his people. But when we partake in the things of the world and we live like the lost, you know, the Corinthians walk in, walked in the gifts, but they still live carnal. God doesn't want that for us. We're supposed to stand out, not blend in. Um, I love you. God bless. Pray.